There was this guy named Keith King. He runs a BMX, a BMX stunt show. Stunt show. Yeah, he runs a BMX stunt show in North Carolina. So he met this, uh, let me see if I can find him. He met this, uh, this really beautiful woman, man, at one of these BMX expos. Keith King is his name. Let me see if I got it here. Let me see if I can find him. There he is right there. So he met this woman right here and dated her for a little bit and went went out of his way to make this really gorgeous proposal to her. Got a bunch of trucks, rented a plane, flew up, you know, something like that. And, just, and it had, Never do that. will you marry me on there? <clears throat> now, she said yes. Mm -hmm. And they got married. They had a little girl. And then things started getting weird with the phone bill. <laughs> so he checked the phone bill, and there were these calls going to a strange number. And also he started seeing some, uh, some weird, I guess, emails or text telling his wife, I like how tall you are. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. When is he leaving? <laughs> <laughs> uh so, I mean, you know, you guys know what was going on. The, the, the woman was having an affair. And the guy even called that number and said, hey, stay the fuck away from my wife. And the guy was like, okay. <laughs> and kept going. Yeah. And so they, and, and let me see here. And this made national news. So it, it, the guy went to the apartment, and it was sad, because the guy went to the apartment to confront the guy and ended up getting put in a chokehold. <laughs> And just get, and st yeah. Talk to your wife. Yeah, talk. She, yeah, she's the one who made the commitment to you. Well, she was there, <laughs> just that he happened to be there too, and he's like, yeah, I don't, oh. I don't think, yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's good. I don't, I don't think it's good for you to come in the house. Okay. So he got put, man. It was, it's kind of sad. I mean, the guy, no, the guy has every right to feel like he does. Everything is in his, you know, any kind of feelings, any kind of sympathy, any kind of money that's dealt right, that's dealt with in this situation is in his favor. Yeah. But man, the dude put him in a chokehold and just kind of held him outside. And he just like, why are you doing this? <laughs> You're my wife. And the guy's like, yeah, just get it all out. Get, oh, and get it all out and just go home. Sad. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, no, it's it is sad, man. Let me see here. Let me see. I'm trying to find the video because they because the wife just sat up there and just and just filmed it. What? She, she filmed it? She filmed this dude in a chokehold. Begging, begging for her, be begging her to come back home. Uh, if I want to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you taking my wife? Guys, come. Why are you taking my wife from me? I don't want this. I don't want it to be like this. Baby, why did you lie to me? King didn't get his marriage back, but he's been awarded nearly $9 million. That's right. You can sue in certain states. You can sue someone. Alienation of affection. Yeah, yeah, alienation of affection. You can sue someone for having an affair with your, with your, with your, your partner or your yep. spouse. Yep. And it's not just for cheating spouses. If if your mother-in-law comes in. Oh really? And kind of breaks things up. You yeah. can sue her. Oh wow. Oh, <laughs> uh, papa-in-law. You know, so you can sue them. And this dude was awarded nine million dollars. From Francisco there. Yeah. Okay, is he a baseball player or something? So you already know. He didn't get that money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, man, the, 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 I felt really bad for this dude because they, they racked it all up. They said, so we're looking at everything that is going on with your business and everything that's going on with, 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 with you know, all the stuff that you could have lost money on at home. Uh -huh. Like, does she cook meals or anything? You know, oh, but you, if you had to, like, you know, if you had loss of time on that, had to spend time doing that, that's affecting your business. Did she help you with the business? Oh, she, what did she do? Okay, those are racked up charges too. The judge just said, every, yeah, he racked up a lot of shit. Okay. To where it came out to $9 million. They said that this affected your business that much. Also, you know, the other things like, you know, uh, uh, emotional stress. Yeah, and yeah, stuff pain like and that. suffering. Pain yeah. and suffering. But it's still, you know, now if anybody's thinking you can sue a cheating spouse and you're going to get paid, that'll help it's probably just gonna make things worse now, you know i listened to the article with this guy and the guy said he said yeah look uh was it worth it for me to to, to do this he said yeah emotionally yeah you know made me feel like i got revenge or sure. caused this guy some stress or something you know just if for me it was my way of dealing with this yeah but so 
he's not going to get the nine million dollars. The woman ended up marrying that guy. Yeah. And he was left with tens of thousands of uh, of, of of fees for his lawyers. Right. Right. Legal fees. Le- yeah. Legal fees. So yeah. So he, you know, it's like even with you suing somebody, if you if you don't get the money, you're going to be out of money because because this guy he filed for bankruptcy. Yeah. And he and they said unless he comes into a, a shitload of money, he, nothing's going to be paid. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> that was crazy to me when I heard that. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know you could really sue for, you know, e- even nearly that much money. But it's, I knew that's unprecedented, though, right there. I think. Okay, yeah. yeah but, no no but, one ever gets but, that but like much. piling that much money onto the, the settlement. <clears throat> it's like that's that money's never coming. Uh, if they kept it low, maybe. But, you know, you put liens on him and, you know, keep the guy from buying a house or doing stuff. Yeah, they, he but he probably for big rumpsy. So they right. said he's not. I, listen, I'm saying I don't. I'm not rooting for the guy. Not at all. But the, he's not going to pay anything. Okay, so. Back it up to when you told me all the stuff he did for that proposal, the plane and the trucks, and yeah. I said, never do that. I'm not saying don't do that because they'll say no. I'm saying don't do that because a person who does that, in the back of their mind, you know, it's, there's something about the relationship that's not really clicking, and they're trying to overcompensate by making really? this grand gesture. Uh. I've, seen it, I've seen it over and over and over, the, the big proposals and the overblown weddings. You see an overblown wedding, and then the couple are getting divorced within four or five years. Yeah. It's, 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 it's like <clears throat> somehow something is not clicking and it's not solid and their subconscious knows. I've <laughs> always got skeptical of big weddings, man. I've never wanted a wedding. Look, when I got married, I never even wanted a wedding. I said, I just want to throw a party and take a big vacation. Mm-hmm. But I see these women with these big weddings, especially the bridezillas, and they, yep. they, want, they just fucking want to be a princess for a day. They mm-hmm. want to get married because they want, the, they want a wedding. They want the, the attention for yeah. the day. They, they, they all about them. It's not a, it's, they don't want a marriage. Mm-hmm. They want a marriage. But the, part of that is like, you know what? The big part of it, though, is that, that wedding day. I was like, man, so you're going to spend... Fifty thousand dollars on a dress that you ain't gonna ever wear again. Mm. Man, get the fuck out of here! So with that. dumb, such a waste. Yeah, it's, it's such a waste. And yeah, the 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 big giant proposals like that. I see somebody do it. It's like, uh, you know, she ain't the one. But okay, yeah. and that's not even clever. Like, what makes that special? Like, wow, you spent a bunch of money. You really care. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it would have been better for her to just have said no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like that's it. That's not everybody. I've seen a lot of weddings that were, you know, things were fine. I just, I don't know. I've seen a lot of weddings that were expensive and they weren't fine. <laughs> and there's no reason you sh- you should have to chase somebody down like that, man. You sh- you should you should already just know like this is not working, man. That's when you say fuck that bitch. Yeah, and go on with your life. Yeah, I know it's, that's easier said ma- than ma- done. Male or female. Yeah, you just say fuck them. Yeah, this guy. I mean, he he really wanted it back because he, they have a child together. You know, I. It's, I get it, but uh, yeah. I, I, okay, say you do that, and she goes, "Okay, fine, I'll come back." Then what kind of relationship you got? Mm-hmm. Well, you're gonna think like, "Well, we worked that out." <laughs> yeah, that drive back, <laughs> the <laughs> silence. Because oh, this whole yeah. thing is his thing is that you know what? If, if old Francesco had never stepped into the picture, my wedding would be good. I'm like, no, wedding. Yeah. She would have found somebody she else. Found somebody else. Because her side of the story is why well, marriage was always kind of weird. See? Yeah, that's her side of the story. Yeah. So I'm thinking, like, so he's really in love, and meanwhile, she's just kind of like, you know what? I'm not really into this anymore. Uh-huh. So what who you jerk? Yeah, what's that? She's a jerk. Well, I think for the way she handled this, yes, but you never know what's going on with people, man. <laughs> you know, I, I just, it's always three sides to every story. His, hers, and Francesco's. <laughs> 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 yeah, from his point of view, man, he's been cock blocking me for years. He proposed. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised Francesco wasn't just like, go ahead, man, just just take her. She'll be back. Just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Right now. The Danielle got that good ass or something because everybody fighting over. <laughs> this turned into yeah. caveman shit. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, wife mine. Oh, man, it wasn't even that. It's like. Yeah, like, would you come talk to this fool so I can finish watching the game? Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's just, man, just, just, just go home, man. <laughs> you know, that's he's in there with your wife. Uh, talking yeah. about, hey, man, just, just, it's, man, just go. You can't come in. <laughs> you right. might be like, man, fuck, man. Listen, this, I feel bad for this dude. He caught it bad in every way. He did. Shit, he lost money with legal fees. Lost his wife. Uh, got a chokehold with this dude. Dude, dude, beat him up. <laughs> Well, and then from Francesco's side, he's like, me and her, we got something going here, and you're not coming in my apartment. Yeah. I feel for you, because you see I'm not swinging on you, but, yeah. but you're not coming in my space. Shit, Francesco said, man, it's done, man. It's done, bro. 